Iran condemns several Western countries for imposing sanctions against local officials and news agencies to mark the first anniversary of the death of Masa Amini. Melchizedek Kadis reports. Assalamu alaikum. The United States, the UK, and the European Union sanctioned Iranian individuals and entities a day before nationwide protests to commemorate Masa Amini's death sparked across Iran. The weekend protests took place a few weeks after Iran's exiled Crown Prince Reza Pahlavi, who is currently based in the U.S., called on Iranians around the world to unite and launch fresh protests on the anniversary of Masa Amini's death. The nationwide protest started on Saturday, September 16th, and continued until Sunday. Masa Amini, a 22-year-old Kurdish woman who was arrested by the morality police for violating Iran's strict hijab laws, died on September 16, 2022. Her parents allege that Iran's morality police beat her while under their care, but the Iranian colonel and police officers denied the allegations. A state colonel's report indicated she died of heart failure, while Iranian officials said she fell into a coma following a heart attack and brain seizures shortly after her arrest attributed to pre-existing medical problems. Her death sparked nationwide protest and gained massive international attention. Meanwhile, a group of gunmen opened fire on a group of paramilitary forces in southern Iran, killing one of them and wounding three others during the protest on Saturday. The controversial Western sanctions coupled with nationwide protests took place amid an ongoing prisoner exchange deal between the U.S. and Iran, wherein five Americans jailed in Tehran will be freed in exchange for five Iranians detained in Washington, as well as the unfreezing of Iran's $6 billion oil funds frozen by U.S. sanctions in South Korea. A local news agency also slammed opposition and dissident groups abroad using the case of Masa Amini to gain profits and campaign for causes that serve their own interests. Barakalafikum jamian kanhada milkisidek kadi sakhbar as seminai kuwait. Residents in Okinawa express anger and strong opposition against the construction of a new U.S. military base in their prefecture. Carlo de la Peña reports. The people of Okinawa felt anger and disappointment over the insistence of promoting the construction of a U.S. military base in the region. Local continued to resist and object to the Japanese central government's plan to build the U.S. Hinoko base, and they had expressed this by filing an appeal to the Supreme Court of Japan twice. But on September 4, the Supreme Court again rejected the Okinawa prefectural government's appeal against the central government's plan to build the U.S. Hinoko base. It can be remembered that Japan and the U.S. agreed to move the Futenma base in Okinawa to the Hinoko area of Nago City as early as 1996. And this relocation required land reclamation and two new runways. Okinawa accounts for 0.6% of Japan's land area and more than 74% of the U.S. military facilities in Japan and more than 70% of their military personnel are concentrated in the said prefecture. 107 lawmakers from 24 municipalities united to set up a voluntary group and convened a press conference in Naha City to express their anger and disappointment to the decision of the government. ケンミント票だったり、県知事選挙で、ま、Zukeran Chofu, a lawmaker from Nanjo, said that the people of Okinawa are angry at the construction of the Hinoko base, and the people had clearly expressed their opposition in the prefecture voting and prefecture governor election. The lawmaker also said the Supreme Court ignored the will of the people of Okinawa and instead urged the prefecture to promote the U.S. Hinoko base. In February 2019, Okinawa Prefecture held a vote among residents on whether to approve the construction of the new U.S. military base in Hinoko. As a result, more than 70% of residents expressed opposition. And in April 2020, 
The Japanese government requested the Okinawa prefectural government to change the design due to serious problems, such as soft soil, were discovered during the construction process. The Okinawa prefecture government said that the technical problems were difficult to solve and asked the upper level to stop the construction and appeal to the Supreme Court of Japan. However, the Supreme Court ultimately rejected the Okinawa prefecture government's appeal. Takayama Yuzo, a lawmaker from Nago, said that they raised technical issues, but the Supreme Court ignored it. The lawmaker then accused the Okinawa Defense Bureau of abusing the Administrative Complaint Review Act, which he said was created to assist individuals. According to the lawmaker, this caused the Okinawa government to lose its lawsuit against the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism. ま、仕組み、これを沖縄防衛局というま個人え行政組織がですね、ま、使ってま乱用して国土交通省に沖縄県のですね、え、ま、この不承認をま、ひっくり返させるような Another lawmaker, Yumi Nakasone from Chatancho, claimed that the Japanese government has been forcibly promoting the construction of the new U.S. base. で、その、もう今まさにこうやって民主主義が。破壊されて、そして国が沖縄に強行してきている。そういった歴史を作っている中で、それでも沖縄県民は諦めなかったという歴史を私たちは作りたいと思っています。Reporting. This has been Carlo de la Peña, SMNI News. 2023 has yet to end, but the United States has already reached a grim milestone on the number of mass shootings that happened this year. Berhiel Parba files this report. Mass shooting incidents in the United States have surpassed the 500 mark over the weekend. This grim milestone was recorded by the Gun Violence Archive or GVA, which said the U.S. averaged just almost two mass shootings a day. The 500th incident this year was recorded on Sunday when Denver Police Department posted an alert on X, formerly known as Twitter. This incident involved a mass shooting that left five people injured. And hours later, an El Paso police report said that they opened an investigation following a shooting that killed a 19-year-old teenager and left five more people injured, bringing the number of mass shootings in the U.S. to 501. GVA defines mass shooting as an incident in which four or more people are shot and either injured or killed, not including the shooter. Meanwhile, the recent annual crime and safety report released by the National Center for Education Studies revealed that 188 school shootings in the 2021 to 2022 school year. The year 2021, however, recorded the highest number of mass shooting in the U.S. history with 689 reported incidents, while 2022 saw 647 cases of mass shootings. The United States, with less than 5% of the world's population, owns 46% of the world's civilian guns. The U.S. Constitution's Second Amendment guarantees the right to bear arms, and about a third of U.S. adults say they personally own a gun, according to the Pew Research Center. However, U.S. ranks first in the world in terms of both individual gun ownerships and cases of mass shootings incident. But a gun ownership issue remains divisive in the United States. Pew Research Center said that Americans are evenly split over whether gun ownerships does more to increase or decrease safety. About 49% say it does more to increase safety by allowing law-abiding citizens to protect themselves. But an equal share say gun ownership does more to reduce safety by giving too many people access to firearms and increasing misuse. 79 of Republicans say that gun ownership does more to increase safety, while a nearly identical share of Democrats, 78%, say that it does more to reduce safety. Reporting, this has been Verhil Parba, SMRI News.